New York's annual Halloween parade going on as scheduled just hours after the terror attack. Tight security lining the parade route in Greenwich Village. More than 10,000 people flooding the streets. Extra officers heavily armed along with sand trucks forming protective barriers along the route. Many people in attendance saying they refuse to live in fear. Following yesterday's attack, President Trump tweeting, quote, I have just ordered Homeland Security to step up our already extreme vetting program. Being politically correct is fine. But not for this. So the big question now, are we doing all we can to fight terror around the world? And what needs to change? Here to weigh in, former U.S. Army CIA trained senior intelligence operative, Colonel Tony Schaefer. Thank you hey, for joining morning. us this Thanks morning. So we'll start with the big question. In your yep. opinion, what needs to change and what needs to change right away? Well, first off, uh, Governor Cuomo uh, is wrong. This is not a quote unquote lone wolf. I mean, how many lone wolves globally do you need to see that there's a pattern here? This is a known ISIS tactic. Got to get that through our head. We need to look at this both ways. We need to look at uh, what we could have prevented, what we could have done to do more to stop this. Uh, th we need to look at why this guy was here. Uh, President Trump is completely correct regarding his vetting program. This guy, look, this guy's name is, uh, the first name is, 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 is Islamic, is, is uh, the sword of Allah. That should be a clue. You know, we should be looking like, why is this guy here? And also, what could we have done to be more aggressive to detect this early on? Clearly, NYPD was way ahead of the curve. And the other thing, NYPD stops more of these attacks than we know. Uh, they are very effective. They can't stop everything, though. They were going in the right direction. So that's, that's what we'd have to look at in the past, the future. We have to get inside the networks of these guys. We have to get inside their heads. The way you defeat a network is by penetrating the network. You have to do that through good intelligence, good police work, good spying, and you have to look at what they're doing social media-wise. And I, this is nothing against, this is not about religious profiling. As, as Bernie Carrick said earlier, we've got to look at how some of these guys use technology, and you can do it through any number of, of ways of profiling that has nothing to do with religion. And then further, uh, as we move forward. We have to de deny ISIS uh, a base of operations, and we have to also start attacking their message, attacking the roots of the concept of why Islam has a radical element. And you have to have Islam go in the direction of a, a reformation of some sort. Lieutenant Colonel Schaefer, to yeah. the individual who's not necessarily in intelligence like myself, yeah. I'm trying to think of this through this prism. It looks like this is just a guy who at 2 o'clock decided to go to a Home Depot, and then at 3.05 ran down a bunch of people. My question for you, how can the best intelligence in the world prevent that guy from doing that knowing okay this is about to happen let's get our resources in place to prevent this from happening look I have to believe based on the time frame he, he came here in 2010 that there was some level of radicalization already in his background we see these people on the radar all the time the, the differentiator we have to find out is what pushes them to act and we've seen and you know look in the cab of his truck he had a, an ISIS manifesto, essentially, a note that says he's doing this because of ISIS. Something pushed him during the time between he, when he got here and the time he acted. He had kids. He was an Uber driver. He did all these different things which to blend in. But arguably, something set him aside. The way you figure that out is by having these folks on the radar. And, and look, he probably telegraphed this to somebody he knows close to him. Uh, that's where good intelligence comes in. I'm not saying we need to have an Orwellian society where we monitor everybody. We do know where pockets of these folks, folks exist, and that's where we need to look. And the other thing I'll say is the NYPD has certain techniques that uh, Mayor de Blasio needs to get over himself and let them do their job. Uh, NYPD has been very effective. There's constant pushback from the, the liberal side on not allowing NYPD and others to do their job. And this is where clearly, uh, you know, we need to let them do their job to figure out how to keep New Yorkers and, frankly, the United States safe. Absolutely. And Lieutenant Colonel Tony Schaefer, thank you so much for Good. your insight hey, and for joining us this morning.